Hello, I'm Wheezy. The lovely folk at British Horse Society invited me to raise awareness all about the respiratory health of the horse. This is my good friend, Snuffly. Hmm, uh, hi Wheezy. Oh, what's the matter, Snuffly? Well, I've been feeling a little under the weather recently, Wheezy. Achoo! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I think I might know why. Firstly, let's take a look at how the respiratory system is affected. As a horse breathes in, air is taken in through the nostrils, where dust and microbes can enter. This dusty air moves down through the trachea towards the lungs. The trachea is also known as the windpipe. That's right! From here, the air passes through two branches called the bronchi, into the bronchioles, and then the alveoli air sacs, that allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to pass through into the blood, where it can be used all around the body. And this is what a horse's bronchiole should look like. But when the dust particles get into the lungs, they cause inflammation, which narrows the airway and then we can't get enough oxygen. Horses need large amounts of oxygen, especially when exercising. What causes respiratory diseases, Wheezy? Well, dust, which may be found in stables is a common cause. Then there's pollen, from all the flowers, grasses and trees. There's the manure surfaces, usually made up with sand, and so, during exercise, this is kicked around and is worse in indoor arenas or when the weather is drier. Wet in the sand also helps remove as much dust as possible, especially in the summer. What about adding rubber to the surface? Well, research has found that rubber chips have high levels of respiral dust, so that may not be the solution to the problem. Poor quality forage and bedding has been linked to high levels of mould and bacteria. It is important that our owners use good quality hay and bedding throughout the year. It should also be stored in a cool, dry barn. You should remove us from the stables when mucking out to prevent us from inhaling the ammonia caused by urine. Finally, there is airborne waste. This includes fumes from industrial plants and cars. What's the signs for respiratory disease? You may have discharge from your nose, which can be thick or thin and can be clear, straw-coloured, yellow or green but it should never be bloody. Also, increased coughing, which can be made worse with exercise. Then, there's the heave line. This shows we're using our abdomen to breathe and force the air through the narrow passageways. Oh, that sounds scary, Wheezy. It's important a vet's called. Achoo! Dust and microbes enter through the nostrils, causing you to sneeze. So, what can you do to make sure that we're in tip-top shape? You can steam or soak our hay for between 10 to 30 minutes, which can reduce dust particles by 93%. It should be fed immediately and not left to stand, otherwise this will encourage the growth of fungi and bacteria. A good tip, where appropriate, hay lids can be fed to some horses, as this is wrapped rather than being left open, reducing fungal spores. Clearing the muck off the fields will help to kill bacteria and fungi and keeping us indoors when the pollen is high at dusk and dawn will help too. To reduce the bacteria and fungi, locate the muck heap away from the barn and water sources. That keeps them pesky flies away too. Ventilating the stable allows airborne particles, ammonia, moisture and heat to escape. Getting as much time out of pasture helps improve respiratory health. Some horses need a little extra help to breathe well. Vets may give us medication and inhalers. It's important that you always seek medical advice from a trained professional if you're worried. Ooh, that cobweb was hard to reach. Thanks for listening. If you'd like any more information on how to keep your horse's respiratory system healthy, visit bhs.org.uk forward slash respiratory health.